Hello there, non-specific genders and spe specimens. Um, hi. Due to popular request, I've been asked to kind of do more basic uh, guitar stuff. I think there's a lot of basic guitar stuff out there. So I was thinking of how I could do that to be different and entertaining and fun. I started thinking about how God, I'm going to have to relive my pain when I first started learning how to play guitar. And it was extremely painful. I don't want to discourage you at all. I want to encourage you to play guitar. But, so before we start doing stuff like this, we're just gonna talk about guitar, techniques, and other things. So, you're just starting out. Maybe you don't even have a guitar yet. You do have a guitar, it's just collecting Either dust. way, what kind of guitar is for you? An acoustic? An electric? Or a bass? I play all three. Doesn't mean you need to play all three. But I will go over all three. And my different theories on how to play all three and how they end up in a mix. Ultimate goal is to get you to play with other people, not just by yourself. Because playing by yourself me, um, gets lonely and boring. Now, do you need an expensive guitar, a great guitar? It's pretty much what's in your budget. Look at this one. This one, I haven't talked about this one in any other videos yet. So, this one is called Advantage. I don't really know what company that is. I don't even know if it's a good brand or anything. But I mean, I, I, this guitar sounds good. It was given to me, it was free. You can see I busted the neck once. I got Gorilla Glue gluing it all together. My bridge is too. It's all messed up and popped off. I got Gorilla Glue holding that thing together. So, this guitar is a broken guitar that I've patched back together. I don't know if it was a cheap guitar, expensive guitar, but it sounds great. It works for me. And it was free. Can't complain with free. But my first guitar was this bass that a friend picked out for me. It's fretless. And at the time, I didn't even know of bass guitars. I didn't even know about fretless guitars. And I noticed that too a lot when I'm listening to music with people. I'm like, you hear that bass line? They don't, they feel the bass line, but they're like, well, which one's the bass line? Well, this is the guitar, unless it's Sizer or something else, but this is the guitar that makes the bass. That's my first. My second guitar is this strap. I ran over the neck with my car. But it was great. It sounded awesome when it had. You just gotta have to believe me. This is my main guitar now. It's a PV. I've talked about this one a lot. Um, but it's twangy. It's got a maple neck, which is my belief is why it's twangy. Um, I think the rosewood necks, or I prefer them, they make it sound darker, beefier, and everything else. But uh, I do like this guitar a lot, I think it looks freaking great, it does sound amazing, and I got this one for 100 bucks at a pawn shop used. I also got a bass 6, which is just basically a bass guitar, set up like an electric guitar, and uh, I like to use this thing to kind of color things a little bit differently. And we like to color. So that'll be the series that I'll be starting is uh, Intro to Guitar, where we're mostly gonna talk about guitar, show you techniques, show you exercises. I'll try and do the videos once a week, um, if work allows. I also got other series I'm working on too, so there should be a lot more content than just the Intro to Guitar series that I'm gonna be starting up. But I hope that you guys will find it interesting. Um, and if you do, please like to let me know that this is what you want. And definitely subscribe. So, until the next video, rock on.